Hello everyone. Um, so this video slash PowerPoint slash Word letters document uh, is being contributed by our Year 7s. One of the key attributes that we look for in Hinchinbrook students as part of the HBK community is empathy along with responsibility and being proud. And so this is a great way for them to show empathy towards you as Year 6s and answer some of your questions as well as giving their own hints and tips uh, for a successful start at Hinchinbrook School. I hope you enjoy it. Hi Lily, thank you very much for helping us with our video. Um, the first question from Year 6 is, who picks sort of the leaders and the form reps and things like that? And I can see you're a form rep, so yeah, give us some ideas please. Um, in your form you have a vote at like, not the first day, like a few weeks after you have a vote, at a blind one, and then whoever got the most, there'll be two up. Usually it can be a boy and a girl, but it doesn't matter which gender. And um, those two will be a form rep. And yeah, and so, it's, so it's decided by the students, really? Yeah. Yeah, brilliant, fantastic. Um, next one is, do we as a school provide all the textbooks and exercise books for you? Yeah, but it would be handy if you bring a notebook to maybe write down any key points that you might need for your homework. Brilliant, good answer, thank you. Um, and the final question is about our rewards. And I can see that you've got your pin and you've also got your bronze ribbon, fantastic. Um, are the fives counted just for a year or do they go throughout the whole time you're at Ancient Brook? Just for the year, so. So what year. happens at the start, when you're in year eight, what, what happens next? They start from year eight and then they go until year like the beginning of year nine. Yeah, they so, they, so they're just for a year. Yeah. And you get different badges for each year, don't you? Yeah. Oh, fantastic, brilliant, that's good to know. Um, thank you very much for your help, really appreciate that. Hello, Will. Uh, thank you for taking part in this video. Uh, first question for you is, should I be worried about the workload in class and homework? No, because worrying doesn't do that much. You should just get on with it. Very good, so just take some action. Yeah. Far than Robin. Excellent. Now, let's just, for, for instance, I was cycling to school from Brampton. Where would I lock my bike up? You would, when you get into the school gate, you will walk your bike up um, around uh, World Green and park it in the back then once. Fantastic, so you'd walk your bike as soon as you hit school grounds. Yeah. Is that true for anywhere on the school grounds? You would always yeah. walk your bike, fabulous. And finally, Will I need football boots in September? Yes. Yes, I agree. I think football boots, particularly for the boys who play rugby, they would need football boots. A little bit weird, but I agree. Hello, Nina. Thanks very much for helping us with our video. Uh, our first question from Year 6 is, how are the classes sorted uh, and are they in ability groups? They're not in ability, they're random in year seven, but like it does change when you go like through school. Yeah, so when you do sort of tests and stuff, I guess they, they might put some subjects into ability like maths. Excellent. Um, is there a year seven bike rack where we have to put our bikes? Uh, no, it's all mixed, yeah. It's all mixed up. And where, if I was coming from the Huntingdon side of school, where would I park my bike? Um, you would park it in just like the ones outside. Near the bus phase? Yeah, near the bus Yeah, near the bus phase, fantastic. And what about if I was coming from the Brampton direction? Um, you would park your bike in Well Green. Can we use the gym at school? Um, sometimes in the mornings, but now you can't because of coronavirus. Yeah, so we're hoping that at some point next year we will be able to use the gym again. Right, Ming, I've got a fourth question for you. Um, obviously, a lot of the Year 6s have done quite a lot of get-ahead work, so some transition work. Uh, do they need to bring it into school on their first day in September? Um, I would, because, like, so people can look at it, like, the work you've done and where you're at. Um, but it might not all get marked, but it's good to still bring it in so the teacher can see it. That's a great answer, yeah. And if you've spent loads of time doing it, why would you not want someone to at least look at it? But yeah, it, it possibly won't be marked. Great answer, thank you. Hi, Stefan. So, um, one of our questions that we've had from Year 6 is, where do they go on the first day? So, when I first entered the gates of Hinchin School, I headed to the food court, which is the pink building and I looked out for my form tutor of holding the 7W sign. Very good. So they're just going to head towards the pink roof building and look out for their form tutor sign. Fantastic. 
Uh, second question, what happens in the detention? Not that you've had any, obviously. Yeah, well, you just go in a room, you sit and you reflect on what you've done and then you, and then you talk with the teacher. Okay, try and put it right, maybe try and think about what you're different. Uh, excellent. And um, what are uh, detentions given for? for? Probably just for messing around in class or breaking the number one rule in Hinchinbrook, which is respect. Okay, fantastic. So respect is the one school rule. Very yeah. important. Brilliant. Thank you. Hi Rebecca, thank you very much for taking part in our video today to try and help the year sixes. Uh, this is the question that I'd like you to answer first for us. Um, will we get a tour of the school when we arrive? You'll get a tour of the school on your first day, but there will also be a tour video. Very good, yeah, there is a tour video. Um, hopefully people have had a chance to see it. Um, next question, do some of the teachers teach more than one subject? Yeah, but it's not very common. Um, what time do the buses get into school? They aim to arrive at just before the start of school, but if they're not, it's not your fault and you won't be told off for being late. Wonderful answer, thank you very much. Hello Future Year 7s, my name's James Bruce and I'm here to tell you some advice on what to do when going to Year 7. Number 1, getting lost. It is a common thing that everyone does, but there are so many people to help you here at Hinchinbrook School. Number 2, your planner. It will give you any time for when your classes are. Number three, finally, opportunities. Opportunities at Hingerbrook School are so amazing. You need to grab every one that you can get. Thank you very much for listening. You guys were the oldest students in your primary school. But from this new term at Hingerbrook School, you will be the older ones. Placed in a new setting, a different atmosphere. Hingerbrook School students will help you, guide you, and make you feel comfortable. It will make you feel happy and safe. Hi, it's six, so Paul as well. Um, I do have a top tip for when you move into Hinchinbrook, um, and that would be just to have fun, because it's really not as scary as it seems. Um, all the teachers are lovely, and yeah, hopefully to see lots of you next year.